Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today we're gonna be talking about the Suzy Toolkit. And in particular, we're gonna be talking about the Suzy Breakpoint mix-in within the toolkit. Now what the toolkit is, is basically it's a collection of mix-ins that's built around the shorthand syntax to allow you to control every single detail. So there's all sorts of mix-ins from things like uh, a gutters mix-in to a container mix-in or function, which you've used the mix-in here, you can even see right here. Uh, and a whole bunch of little things like margins and paddings, bleed, that sort of stuff, just to make your life a little bit easier when working with Suzy. Now, one of the best parts of the Suzy toolkit is if you're using Breakpoint, which we are here, uh, if you remember, Breakpoint is an extension to SAS that allows for really excellent media queries. And if you're using Breakpoint, then you can use the Suzy Breakpoint Mixin. And now the Suzy Breakpoint Mixin does require you to be using Breakpoint on the site. So if you're not using Breakpoint already, check out one of our videos where we explain how to use Breakpoint. Uh, we talk about it in some of these past Suzy videos if you did not catch those. So to use the Suzy Breakpoint Mixin, all we have to do is type in Suzy hyphen breakpoint. Now that's using the Suzy breakpoint mixin. If we simply save this, come to our page and refresh, you'll see it's missing an argument. So the Suzy breakpoint mixin doesn't just take a breakpoint mixin, right? Because at that point it'd be what's what's the point of even using it? In fact, it takes three arguments. Now the first argument is the same as the breakpoint mixin. However, the second argument is going to be a layout statement. So if we wanted to say uh, essentially this layout 24, all we could say here is 24. Now if I delete this, it's not even going to require that that's there. I can save this and now at the large media query, it's resetting our grid to 24 columns. If I refresh, you'll see everything's back to the way it used to be. In fact, just to verify this is doing anything, we could say, hey, make this 40 columns, and you'll be able to see these columns should all get much narrower. There we are, uh, because I just made it 40 columns instead of 24. Okay, so back to 24. Cool. So now the third argument is actually the no query uh, statement. And the no query is for falling back for old browsers. Now I'm not going to explain that too much in this video. Uh, however, we do go over the no query strategy in our SAS video series when we talk about breakpoint. It's a great way to support older browsers that don't use media queries without using something like respond.js. So that's just about as easy as it gets. This mixin takes three arguments with the last one being optional. As you can see here, uh, we just passed it two, and now uh, we just got rid of an, a little line of code and it's made our life really easy. So you can now quickly change your grid settings with the Suzy Breakpoint mixin. Cool, so that's nice and easy. In the next video, we're gonna talk about some more of these toolkit mixins. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter, pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.